Welcome everybody to the DLG. My name is Skip. Uh, we're on our way today out to Montezuma's Castle. Montezuma's Castle is a cliff dwelling uh, that's uh, perched way up high in the cliffs. Um, it's about five stories and uh, it consists of over 20 rooms. It was built between 1100 and 1400 AD and uh, wasn't really discovered by the uh, European Americans until 1860. Now when it was discovered by the Europeans they determined that it was built by the Aztecs. Um, and so they named it mistakenly after the Aztec Emperor uh, Montezuma, which was wrong. It was actually built by the Sanaguan people. Uh, it's now on the Avapai Apache Reservation and uh, that's where we're going to be going today. So uh, come join us. Uh, stay tuned to the end of this, and I'm going to give you. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to go up on Google Maps, and I'm going to show you exactly where it is on the map, uh, so that it'll make it really easy for you guys to find it. Uh, so come join us, and uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. Will you take a look at that? Uh, right down through the trees right there, you can see the Verde River. It's running through there. That's actually not the Verde River. That's Be Beaver Creek down there. Uh, listen to this. So this is what I was telling you. That Montezuma was never here. He wasn't even born when the Sanagua people lived here. So what I discovered is that it's $10 for your fee uh, to get in, but it's good for three days, so I can actually go within the next three days over to Tuzigut. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that all at the same time and uh, kill two birds with one stone. I'm not 62 years old yet, so I don't qualify for the annual pass. So it's amazing to come out here during the full moon uh, because they open this up and they, they actually put luminarias all along this walkway right here. It's absolutely beautiful and magical. Uh, I love coming out here. And if you look up here, you can really see the cliffs. And this is what they built their homes into right there. And in just a second, we're going to go around this little corner right here, and uh, we're going to see the cliff dwellings. It's absolutely amazing. I've been told that I say amazing and gorgeous way too much, uh, but that doesn't even begin to describe what we're looking at here. Take a look at that. So isn't that amazing? Absolutely beautiful. Built right up into the cliffs, protected from a lot of the elements.
Montezuma's castle. Imagine yourself visiting here over seven centuries ago and receiving an invitation into this cliff-dwelling home. What you would have seen might well have been something like this cutaway model of Montezuma Castle. On the top floor, the elderly village lookout keeps his solitary vigil. His eyes search for approaching danger to those working the fields below the castle. It seems that over the ages, children and their actions change very little. On the fourth floor, you'll find the concerned mother scurrying to reach her adventuresome son, precariously balanced on the edge of the roof. On the third floor, an aging man leads his blind wife across the balcony. You'll also meet women busily preparing food, getting supplies from storerooms, making pottery and grinding corn. Usually women ground the corn, their staple food, only in small as needed quantities and prepared it in various ways. Weavers use the second floor loom to weave cotton breech cloths, bags and blankets. Today you can see examples of their varied weaving patterns in the visitor center. Villagers use the wooden ladders as stairways to carry up provisions from fields and water from Beaver Creek. On the ledge at the base of the central tower-like section, a man prepares to start a fire using a friction drill. Nearby, a young woman awaits the returning hunters who bring wild game as variety to the village diet. We encourage you to think beyond ancient stone walls and vacant rooms to the remains of a once vibrant village village of people who experienced wants and needs, anxieties and fears, joys and sorrows, just as you and I today. So I hope you guys enjoyed your visit to Montezuma's castle out here. Uh, we're getting some weather, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off. There's been a lot of lightning and thunder. Um, so maybe we'll do a little video on the monsoons that we get out here. Let me turn this camera around, see if I can, see if I can get you guys a sh So there you guys have it, that's the, uh, that's our monsoon activity. We're going to get some thunder, some lightning, maybe some rain coming through there. And if you look off to the uh, east here, uh, you see some, some blue skies and scattered clouds. But that's right over the castle. I just saw a big bolt of lightning out there a second ago. Uh, so we'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.